My Italian friend Carmi had me over for a light meal the other night and she made something that she called stromboli but she said she was really cheating because she used refrigerated pizza dough. And when I was eating it I thought, oh my gosh, I have to share this with you because it's so easy to make and it makes a light lunch, light evening meal. It could even be an appetizer. So you start with just a package of the refrigerated pizza dough or pizza crust that you can pick up in the grocery store. And all I've done is unroll it. I put it on a lightly floured surface and just kind of patted it into shape. And then I picked up a container of pesto. And this pesto is made with olive oil, basil, some Parmesan cheese, um, some walnuts I think are in this one. During the summer you can make your own. But today we're using refrigerated and it takes about half of a cup of this pesto. And then I'm going to use some meats and you can use any kind of your favorite deli meats. I'm going to use some turkey and some ham that's been sliced nice and thin. And I'm just going to layer it on this dough. I like the uh, stromboli to be a little bit spicy so I got pepper jack cheese. And it's sliced up, I'm just putting that right over the meat and then it'll be ready to roll up. Now in the meantime, whoops, <laughs> I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees. And once I have this rolled up, I'm going to bake it probably for just about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and golden on the outside. I've got my things layered on here, and now I like to just roll it towards me. And I'm going to roll it starting at one of the long ends, and just very gently roll it up and I'm going to transfer it to a parchment lined baking sheet. There we go. Then I'm going to push this one in because that's where I've got my seam underneath. And I've melted two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to brush that over the dough before I pop this into the oven. Okay, I've taken the stromboli out of the oven and you can see how nice and brown the outside of it is. And I'm just going to gently just give it a little nudge right onto my cutting board. And I did let this rest for about five minutes before I cut it because it makes it a little bit easier to cut through. So I'm just going to cut that first piece off first and that first piece is going to be a little bit doughy because remember we didn't go all the way to the edge, or I didn't go all the way to the edges when I was filling it. But look at that, just nice and cheesy and the smell is just wonderful from that pesto and the pepper jack cheese. So you can see it just would make a wonderful light meal with some salad and fresh fruit or a lunch. It's just really delicious. I hope you'll give it a try. I've got the recipe at, um, on our website at www.lakelandptv.org. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.